Coming home is one of my first choice ever since I left it. It's the memories that kept on pulling me to go back and redeem it. It's the feelings that calls my name in order to know the right path. Did I really choose the right one? I'm Christopher Mendez, but there's this one person who only knows the real me. My home. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at High Rise International Airport. I finally Airport. arrived. United it's been a while. These past four years, I let my heart stay here. The reason? It's actually pretty stupid. Taxi to this destination, please. Finally, you answered this goddamn call. I guess you finally arrived. What are you up to? I'll explain everything to you after. Yuri, she dropped by earlier asking where the hell in the universe you've gone. And I do hope you can still remember, tomorrow's the first death anniversary of our father. But today's a special day for me too. We arrived at our destination, sir. Brings back to all times, right? Wait, what's that? It's him! My first love! When did you come back? Just a few hours ago. Do you still live here? No, no, not anymore. Wanna check out the place? Sure. Did you left your heart here? Because I did the same. I'm sorry, I can't control the situation back then. But I still love you. I really do. It's fine, darling. Everything happens for a reason. By the way, now that you're here, I always wanted to give you this. I wanted to marry you, but here's the problem. I lost the other ring. Can we look for it? I would definitely love to. I already graduated, by the way. Really? Congratulations. Should we try running a bike? Nah, I want to enjoy every single second with you. That was fun! But whoa! How'd you find this place? I failed to invite you here years ago. You know what? I hate number six, but at the same time, I love it. Why? I mean, today's September 6th and was supposedly our fourth anniversary. Christopher, always remember that I love you more than you could ever imagine. Jack, I love you too. You're the only puzzle piece that can complete me. Oh, sorry, did I scare you? Uh, by any chance, did you see anyone beside me? He's tall, white, Sir Jack August? It must be you. It's lost for years. Can you take time to check what's on it? September 6, four years ago, I heard a gunshot from this direction. Before I could even check it closely, a group of men left the place. Then I went here to check if they did something awful. Poor Jack. I found him lying. Lots of bloods were flowing from his chest. He told me to give that ring to you, Sir Christopher. Before I could even bring him to the nearest hospital, he drew his last breath. I tried to testify who really killed Jack, but he's too powerful. And I'm sorry to tell you this, but a person behind Jack's death was your no. father, Sir Antonio no. Mendez. No. He's not dead. We were having fun yesterday. We visited our old house. We went to the park and watched this one, wandered every corner of the streets. It was him. I know it was him. At that moment, I realized why Jack hated six. And there he was, this young boy. A stranger to my eyes Drumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words K 
killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life with his words, killing me softly with his song.